Today we will see that how we can go ahead and create a purchase transaction on Transact. Quickly let's go to our transaction module. Now on your right hand side you will get an option of create document. Click on that. Select the purchase order. Now we'll select the supplier company name. Now this is the purchase document format which gets opened in front of you. On your left hand side there are all the details like buyer detail delivery location. You can very well go ahead and add any additional address from here by clicking on this edit icon and click on this plus icon. Now, I will put the transaction title here, which is Vault Purchase Order. Now I will select the delivery date here. That is the 31st of August. I will select the store from here if you have multiple store. Going below, I will select the item. Now, I will go ahead and put the quantity here. So all the details will be fetched from my inventory module. Going below, I can go ahead and add an extra charge in this. You can very well go ahead and add an additional extra charge, add an additional item. You can go ahead and put the additional details as well from here, from term and, like term and condition, you can put the comment and you can go ahead and add an additional email recipient as well to whom you wish to send this purchase order. Going below, I will go ahead, I will get an option of save as draft and save and send. So I will quickly go ahead and click on save and send. Once I will click on save and send, the purchase document get created. You can also go ahead and share this purchase document over WhatsApp. Now, on your right hand side, Please have a look. You can go ahead and create an inward for this as well. You can also create an inward in your transaction timeline because once I create a purchase order, a transaction timeline gets generated. So I will click on view transaction here. Now, please have a look. This is a transaction timeline which gets created here. So what I will do next, I need to go ahead and create few documents in this. So please have a look on your right hand side. You will get an option of create document. Now here I can go ahead and create the performer invoice, the receipt voucher and invoice document. So currently as I have went ahead and just made the advance. So what I will do, I will click on receipt voucher and create an advance voucher in transact. Now I need to go ahead and just fill the document number here, which is POARV. Now I will go ahead and select the payment date. So as I have made the payment as of today, so I will select the 28th. Now I will go ahead and put the advance amount. 10,000 I have made the advance. Now, going below, here as well I can go ahead and put the extra charge attachment comment. I can go ahead and very well put the optional columns as well in this. Now going below, I will quickly go ahead and click on save and send. Now I will select the payment mode. I will click on continue. So this advance voucher will get saved in my purchase transaction and same payment will get logged in my payments module. I will go back to my transaction. Now I need to go ahead and create the invoice in order to take the material in, in my inventory. Now I will create the invert document, select invert, please have a look. Going below, the document number will get fetched from my settings module. Now this is the quantity which I have created. So here, suppose the delivered now quantity is 160. So what I will do, I will simply go ahead and leave it as it is. I can attach an attachment here and I can put a comment as well here. Now going below, I will click on save and send. So once I will click on save and send, my invert document will get created. Please have a look. Now this is my invert document which get created. I will click on view transaction. You can also, once you create the invert, then after you need to go ahead and create the quality inspection document. That is the GRN, good receipt note. So I can create the GRN from here or I can go ahead and quickly go in the transaction timeline. Now, going below, here you will get an option of create GRN QIR. Once I will create the invert document, 
uh, inventory approval will go in the inventory module and same has been approved as my inventory approval is an auto mode you can go ahead and make the inventory approval manual or auto from your settings module i will create the grn qir so this is how much i have accepted now i will quickly go ahead and click on save and send This is my GRN or quality report is created. Now I need to go ahead and create the invoice document. Punch the invoice. So I will click on create document, click on tax invoice. This is my tax invoice form. I will put the document number here. The payment date. 31st of August. Going below, it will display all the amount. As I have already created an advance receipt voucher, so it has already been fetched in my invoice. Click on save and send. It will ask for the authorization. Click on yes. Now this is the invoice which get punched in my purchase transaction. That means my entire purchase transaction is complete. You can go ahead and add a tag in purchase transaction as well. Let me show you how. So this is the invoice which get punched in my purchase transaction. Click on view transaction here. Here you can go ahead and add a transaction tag. So I will create a new tag. Delivered wall PO. Click on save. So here is the high priority tag delivered wall PO tag. What I will do, I will go ahead and select this tags so i'll put two transaction tag on this let me show you how so these are two of the tags which i went ahead and saved in my purchase transaction now you can go ahead and create a delivery chalan purchase return as well in this transaction suppose if any of the item get rejected and you need to send that item back to the counterparty so you can create the delivery chalan and then after you can create the invert now we'll go back to my transaction module in order to check this please have a look this is the purchase order which i created it has been received i can click on the options here and i will select the tax option now these are the two tags which i went ahead and attached to this so this is how you can go ahead and make an entire purchase order purchase transaction on transaction I hope it is helpful. Have a good day.